Eric Horn here with Brett Dawson at the Thunders practice facility. I'm really disappointed because we had a great video earlier and we blew sure. it because the battery died, but we're back. Draft night is over. It's very late. Thunder picks up two uh, draft picks in the second round that are uh, a little bit on the older side, more experienced, but uh, they also pick up a young guy, come back in, uh, acquire a pick from Brooklyn, and uh, that guy's young, guy has some upside overall, wing heavy draft for the Thunder. Yeah, very much so. So they take two seniors, college seniors, kind of a rarity uh, anymore in the draft. But uh, Devin Hall, a 6'6 guard out of Virginia, really good defender, pretty good shooter, developing three-point shooter, got a little better every year there. Comes from that Virginia system where they're really known for defense and playing hard nose. They've had some guys really stick uh, from that program. Uh, then they take another senior, a 6'8", uh, small forward type, Kevin Hervey. Uh, he's a really good scorer, averaged 20 points a game, has had some knee problems in the past, had an ACL injury in high school, had another as a sophomore at UT Arlington where he played. Um, but he is a, a good scorer, a high level, uh, you know, was the Sun Belt Player of the Year as a junior, uh, an all-conference guy his senior year, an experienced guy, pretty good guy both ends of the floor. So both those guys, the Thunder can talk about those guys, that's who they took at 53 and 57. But Eric, as you pointed out, the most intriguing guy they took might be the guy they can't talk about until this trade goes through sometime around July 6th. Yeah, Hamadou Diallo is a freakish athletic uh, specimen from uh, University of Kentucky. This is a young guy, a uh, guy who was in the draft process last year, ended up going back to Kentucky uh, and came out this year. The guy can jump out of the gym. He's a guy who's great in transition. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of role he can carve out. The Thunder likes these young athletic players who Believe it or not, can't shoot. Yeah, yeah, he's not a great shooter. He shot about 33% from three-point range at Kentucky in his one year there. Didn't shoot it a whole lot. But as you mentioned, he's been through the draft process twice. He came out and went to the Combine uh, after a half year, just a semester at Kentucky where he was kind of a redshirt. Um, opted to not to stay in the draft. Might have been a first-round pick. Still a very young guy. Um, you know, the last year when he went through the draft process, went to the combine a 44 and a half inch vertical, which is crazy. It might be the highest ever recorded at the combine. It is certainly one of, and it was the highest last year. Came back this year, slacked all the way down to 40 and a half inches. Still one of the better vertical leaps in the draft. He is a crazy, crazy athlete. As you said, not a really good shooter, not even like a great free throw shooter, um, but he has a lot of upside. He's a guy that at his age, you get him in, maybe he gets to play summer league, the way that, that timing is going to be, we don't know, but you know, going to have an opportunity, maybe camp, maybe play some with the blue. He's a guy who has some tools that they can work with. Quick hitters from there, um, Sam Presti basically in the same place with Paul George. They said they're looking forward to having those conversations about free agency uh, in, in the next week or so. Once free agency opens on July 1st, uh, Carmelo Anthony, that's a date coming up. He has an early termination option that he has to trigger um, by uh, June 23rd. Otherwise, he can just leave it alone and collect his $28 million for the upcoming season. He would have to actually trigger that early termination option in order to become a free agent again and leave the $28 million on the table. Still leaning toward that not happening. That's a lot of money to give up for one year. And then uh, actually some light Andre Robertson news. Uh, good news on his front. You know, uh, um, Sam Presti says that Andre Robertson was in today working to the point where he can ramp up his uh, his workouts a little bit more, but they're not going to push him uh, in recovery from that uh, left patellar knee tear, uh, or patellar tear in his knee. Uh, it's getting late. It but getting uh, late. <laughs> Very, very late. We have some uh, Sam Presti video. Uh, he also brought along uh, the Thunder exec, Will Dawkins, who was one of the main players in terms of a uh, uh, player evaluation, uh, both on the, the professional level and the amateur level. So Will Dawkins was also in on the uh, the post-draft press conference as well.